Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Jason Sam Kovac here, getting out and going to do a little bit of scouting here today. It is actually the Saturday before Easter, and my first time being out here in uh, getting out in Michigan. And uh, it's, you know, definitely kind of different. I'm used to watching for snakes and uh, gators and crap like that down in Georgia. And now I, it's just like I said, so nice to be in Michigan. And, uh, but we are heading out to go check on a, in a swamp here uh, that I found. I'm actually about two hours from my house. So it's quite a hike out here, but I'm pretty excited to, uh, you know, I found it on a map, wanted to look at it. I may get out here and hunt here this winter. So, or I mean, this, uh, this coming fall. So I wanted to check it out uh, a little farther than I normally travel to. Most of my spots are, you know, in side of about an hour but this one looks so good on a map i want to hit it and uh, i do have my hip boots on because i am going to be in water here as we come out and scout this i'm assuming it's going to be deep enough so um but on the way here just just i just started going here i'm only about i don't know 200 yards from the truck but already look at look at the rubs here look at what i'm finding this is nice look at this trail through here and uh look at this look at these right here i mean that is just lovely they are just wrecking it in here uh, very impressed nice little area heading right out into a swamp But good looking stuff out here. We're seeing I mean, this is good cover. Look at this A real good cover for deer and uh, no trees No trees that you can put a stand in here uh, Which is probably why there's so much activity in here, but look at this just wrecked in here this is just awesome, but I mean so many perfect places for ground hunting opportunities in here. Excellent ground spots. Um, you know, be so easy to just tuck into any little pocket here anywhere you wanted to. So this may be a good area in here, but we're going to continue on and see what else we find. Uh, just going to be a scouting day is what it is here. We're going to just cover, um, you know, a bunch of ground on this swamp and uh, see what we can find. Except my saw there. Those of you guys that ask, give me a hard time. You know, you can't cut nothing on public land in Michigan. You're right. I don't. But you see that notch? That lets me put that at a 45 degree angle. So I can put that and extend it up there. And grab these little sticks and just snap them down or grab hook on this branch pull it down like that and then i have string in my pocket that i can tie stuff off to if i need to so i'm not actually using my saw to cut branches um, but it is a very handy tool out here plus walking through the swamp it gives me a great walking stick just very versatile tool so um but anyway we are getting ready to uh head out here and uh, we're gonna dive in and see what we find and i will take you along with me so stick around this guy is still going. Look at this. I mean, this is insane. I mean, this is like rub number 18 as we've been going through this. And he's running right on the inside edge of this stuff. Kind of this little half trail on the side. You can see all these other trails through here. Uh, but he's running this little edge right through here. But, I mean, at this rate, he's going to take me right to his bed. And uh, I kind of want to be over there is where I want to be. We can't see it back there, but over that way. But uh, I can't stop following this guy. We're going to see what he leads us to. Uh, but this is why we come out and do this stuff in the spring. The best part is about scouting in the spring is right now I can't screw anything up. This is when you want to get out here and get this done. I have no ferns to contend with. The trees have no branches or anything on them. The brush doesn't. Everything is open, exposed. And all of this sign that we're seeing here, everything that you're seeing, all of these trails... These are made during hunting season. Here we have snow that comes in mid, in, in early December, mid-December, and it stays all the way through until about two weeks ago. We got to, right now, I mean, it's a, it's a 59 degree day right now, so it's beautiful. Uh, but normally, I mean, literally two days ago it was 31 degrees and, and, you know, with nighttime temps of 19. Um, snow just melted. Everything is, all the sign that you see here, is freshly preserved under winter snow for the entire winter. All of this heavy sign is actually fall hunting sign perfectly preserved under here. So that's why this spring scouting is so important and we get out and do it as much as we can. Make sure you take full advantage of it any opportunity you get and uh, don't pass up opportunities like this either. This guy, even though I'm planning to go over there, this guy is telling me I have to go here and I got to see what he's got going on and see if I can stay with him and figure that out. Still working with that dude. He's still running right through here, but now he's getting out here a little more open. But again, keep in mind, most of the season until the snow comes and packs all this down. You see how everything is matted down? That's because of the snow. Until the snow gets here, this stuff is going to be waist to, to nipple high in here with these grasses. All this stuff that's tipped over will be waist high. Look at we still got him rubbing right here. Right there. So we're still working with him. But this in the... Uh, during hunting season will be pretty raised up and pretty high in here. 
All right, first spot that I am going to mark is going to be this one here after I get done looking at it. But I'm on my way. I'm still trying to head way out there to the swamp. Um, but what I'm finding here is I just came through there that that big here in ducks there geese but uh that uh rub line came right in through here i was circling around this wanted to see why i said i didn't want to fight my way through that right there but here's why look at this perfect here see this swamp right here see this swamp right here and it wraps around right there those deer are going to cross this this i'm in water right now you can see i'm standing in water we got water muck here this will be much deeper in the fall this whole thing will be covered with water and uh that those deer are crossing over here look at this trail i'm on see this trail goes right up through there is another one there i'll bet there's more where that buck's coming he's going to cross right at this point right here i bet coming right through that thicker stuff that's there i'm going to go over there and take a look you got trails look at this one i'm on right here that comes right through here goes right through there see it pop up right there i mean this is a gold mine spot already if i had never even been in here before and just started coming into here this is perfect i'd set up in that tree right there next to that dead one for a wind going that way and shoot anything here set up in those trees set up in these trees anything i mean this is cakewalk easy classic pin point right here and i'm noting this spot i'm going to mark it down but before i do i want to see what's over there and see what kind of stuff we're finding crossing so i'm gonna grab my saw and let's take a look over here and see what we find real quick as i walk through this look at right here look at that trail wiggles through there oh getting deep that's why we're in hip boots that would have been a soaker and rubber boot and knee highs um it's amazing how you think this stuff's not that deep but you step into it and like i said you find yourself a hole you're going to know it. With hip boots on, I don't have to even go slow. I can just crush my way right through it. But now I would expect to see right out of this point right there to see some good sign crossing this too. Now, not as good as where the does would be over there where we were at. That's where I'd expect the does to take the easy route. I don't expect them to fight their way through this. They'll just they'll circumvent that edge of that. But those bucks, they like to cover, especially in hunting season... I would expect them to come out of this and run through it. So let's see here. See, like right there. See, look at, he got those two trails. They come right there. Look at that right there. See, gold mine stuff right here. You don't have to work that hard for this. You don't have to overthink it. Yep, got sign on here, all over here. See them right here. Here's the best part of it right here. Just like I said, look at right there. Perfect. These two come together. Look at that, and they're gonna merge in right there, just like that, right there. It's coming right out from right there, and you can almost see a perfect gap right through the trees there where they don't gotta fight with all that other blowdown crap that's in here. A kind of a straight shot right through there. So this is looking good. Might be one more right over here. Yep, right here. This is it, and look. It comes right through here, you can see it dingle right through there and it is merging again right there coming together so i mean you and you got another one going right here that angles up that way so it kind of comes into here but again setting up in that tree right there lets you shoot everything there lets you shoot all of it heck even that pine tree right there which i would not probably go in almost looks like somebody else might have it one time or another just by the fact that those that limbs cut there i don't know if that saw cut or not um, but you can see a cut limb on, or a broke limb anyway. But like I said, this this area here, this phenomenal. I'd set up, me personally, I'd be set up in one of these trees right there. Somewhere right on this inside edge where I can catch them coming in or out of here. Uh, usually when they travel through this open stuff, they move pretty quick. They don't go very slow through these open spots. So they'll be moving. So I'd rather catch them just at the edge of it. So I would be in one of those trees right there. But we just found a killer spot. I'm going to mark this down. There we go. Looking good. We just crossed over right over there. And uh, we're seeing sign over here too. Good rubs, good trails, trails everywhere through here. I'm really digging this area. Look out a lot of a lot of potential through here. Now this is a little too open in here. I'd hunt it back where I said I would. But uh but there is no denying uh that this area is pretty good. Look at these trails here. Look at look at this trail coming through here. Um and again keep in mind you gotta understand what this looks like in northern Michigan in the fall when the ferns are still up even if they're browned out they're still higher all this stuff but look at these trails through here very impressive very very impressive and it's a good area now this looks a little too open 
in here for me but it's nice to know they're moving through here might even be after dark most rubs are made after dark um but uh but back where i was over there where i was telling you gold mine man more rubs i'll tell you this little island is just hit pretty hard i'm running this little tight edge that's actually snow snow load broke that off that's why that one is there that's not animal done um that snow load snow weights down on these turns the ice and breaks them but this little corridor through here phenomenal this like i said you're getting into some good stuff we got good rub right there coming into there we got another rub i saw as i was walking by i don't remember where i saw it but i saw it glowing out here somewhere where did i see that right there there's another little rub right here on this one there's a lot of buck activity on this little peninsula island kind of thing that i'm on and there is a lot of activity, and I'll bet because it is such high water all the way around it, uh, these deer are getting pushed on here during hunting season and spending a lot of time on here. They got a lot of food, got a lot of acorns, they got a lot of browse, tremendous amount of browse, and they got good cover in here in these pockets too that are all over through here. So oh, something died here. I'm seeing hair, seeing deer hair there. Um, yeah, I don't know if I hold that camera right. You saw it, but right there is deer hair. I wonder if something got taxed laying in here. Maybe a shed laying around, I don't know. But yeah, this area is getting the more rubs right there on that tree too. I mean, this is a pretty solid area. I am not gonna lie, I am impressed. This is, let me put it this way, it's definitely worth the drive back up here during hunting season, without a doubt. I mean, two hours is not too bad. And uh, I got a feeling I'm gonna find myself spending some time hunting here little picky on the trees to hunt out of but cannot complain at all about this this is like i said uh very good topography very good terrain very good cover for them and uh very hard access very very hard access this is not something that's easy for somebody to get to you know i mean to come out here and get out to where i am right now uh with stick stands and you know getting ready to come out here and hunt through the water and everything you're talking you know water crossings you know uh, i'm guess, i'm guessing i'm probably i don't know maybe 13 1400 yards so uh three quarters of a mile in already and i'm still not even i'm still a half mile short of where i'm trying to get to but solid area this stuff is the reason you need a walking stick i'll tell you what you try walking through this without a walking stick even during hunting season you better have trekking poles or something with you because you try walking in this stuff here like this Without it, you're going to be on your ass. There's no doubt about it. You're going on your butt, I should say. Sorry. But you're going down. There's no no two ways about it. You will drop like a stone uh, with all the unsecure footholds that are in here. It'll, it'll take you right out of the game. Now, this is the kind of stuff we're talking about here. This is daytime deer activity. Look at how thick, thick this is all the way around here. This is the kind of stuff I look for. They'll move through here at any minute of any time of the day. Bedding everywhere around them. Tons of opportunity. Great trails. Hey got... <coughs> Excuse me. Nice thing is you're in spring, so it doesn't matter if you mess this stuff up. But I got crossings coming across from that point we were on earlier. Crossings there. I got trails going up through here. I got trails coming up the side of here. I got trails going up through there through this thick stuff here i mean this is a trail right there coming in through there there's one that runs right on the other side of that this is gold mine stuff here this is the kind of stuff we're talking about this is fantastic i love it i'm also going to not lie and say or i'm going to li not lie in the fact that it is nice to be able to move through stuff like this and not be concerned about snakes uh for the last few months being down in georgia like i said it doesn't take hang on i gotta move this stuff out of the way here does not take much in this kind of crap to be into snakes. Copperheads and cottonmouths in the water and that kind of stuff. It's nice to have a little bit of a break and be able to just cruise right through this stuff and not worry about anything. Uh, just a nice little bonus. When it comes to betting for bucks and for deer, <coughs> I don't, uh, I personally don't 
chase single buck beds anymore or any of that kind of stuff. I don't even spend a lot of time going into those. The reason for it is, is I'm not really that concerned. All I want to know is that there's good bedding there. Um, and when you learn to find it, it's not even worth having to go into personally for myself. So I don't worry about it too much anymore. Um, I don't hunt specific big deer, uh, things like that. So for me, it doesn't matter too much. But you look at this point right here. Right off the end of this peninsula, we got a point that wraps around right here. All this stuff, these trees, I, I can pretty much guarantee you that there's bedding out here. If we come out here and look, I'm sure we're going to find beds spread all over in here. So we will look for the sake of it. But see how it's all matted down. This is all deer activity. It's all deer traffic. Um, you know, it's all, all deer. And I'll bet when we get out into here where it gets thicker into this stuff, we're going to probably start seeing beds. We'll just follow one of this, like this main trail. And see here, go my saw, there we go. See, I just got it all tore up in here, but I mean, there's no doubt that there's beds in here. Let's saw uh, which way do you want to go? Let's go this way. It's because I'm being lazy. Fresh deer poop down there. See deer beds right there. There's the deer bed. You know, I mean, this is this is just classic bedding. So I, I know they're going to be out here. So it's, it's look at the deer beds there, deer beds there, deer beds. So it's not like I have to come out here and note where these are personally. Now, again, if you're hunting, you know, one specific buck, it may be important for you to know deer beds. So they're all over out here. As I keep going, there'll be more of them. And they're out here on this point, bedded out here. I can see one right there as well, too, already. But, you know, this is deer bedding. It's going to be here. Whether they use it or not is is up to them. Uh, depending on a lot of variables, but I like finding, I, I like knowing where the deer bedding areas are, but as far as having to go, is that buck going to be laying right there on a dam coming? That's not, uh, not really my style of hunting. I can't actually answer that, but I, and I'm not going to come in here to find out beforehand or anything. So I will leave that not hunt, just knowing that he could you know this is a big enough area that there could be multiple bucks or does even bedding on this area that are going to have to travel that way when they come out most likely they're going to go that way so i can be up there 80 yards away ambush them without coming in here but this is you know classic what you expect deer bedding in this real thick bedding area kind of stuff uh, you know and we're right on a point right on a big point right here i mean it is classic with escape routes across that way over there too as well high grasses everywhere i mean water i mean this is classic um you know buck bedding area kind of stuff it's fantastic but until you know how to find that stuff and you know that those areas are buck bedding areas and until you can look at this stuff and go okay there's deer that are bedded in here and you know it and you don't have to go in there then it is worth you going in there go in there take a look for yourself check it um learn where they're bedding at learn i mean like i said i can pretty much pick exactly where they are based on the size of the trees the thickness of cover and relativity of the wind and you know the, the way this point's laid out we knew exactly where they were but if you don't know that stuff yet and you're not ready to be, um, you know, to just take that kind of assumption, by all means, take the time in the spring right now when you're not hurting anything, walk in there and find where those are. You want to note them and mark them down, especially if you're on private land, more power to you. Dive in and get it done. As a public land hunter, this entire place that I've taken you with so far, this mile and a quarter journey to get out to where I am right now, um, we found two spots that I would hunt. I may only get to one of them in an entire season, or even if I hunted them both, I would probably only hunt both of these spots one time in an entire year. So for me, you know, all that extra D, I don't need to go in there and dive into that. But for you, if you want to, by all means, I will never discourage you from doing it. I'm just explaining why you don't see me um, when I'm doing these scouting videos, dive into every little piece of this. In my scouting video, or I'm sorry, my course, my uh, my bow hunting whitetails course, I did all that for you and I explained it all. But in reality, I don't spend as much time diving into those places because I don't need to know exactly. All I need to look at it and say, yep, that's bedding. They're going to be there. I know they are. I know what they're doing. So it makes life a little easier for me to be able to not have to dive in there. Until you learn that, make sure you do so you understand it all. Start seeing this more and more. I mean, this guy's not in a horrible spot. 
Um, but he's out here on this peninsula, but uh, he's, like I said, not in a horrible spot. He's about 100 yards off. If you'd have watched my, uh, took my, my whitetail hunting course, he would know better. Um, but I'm glad he didn't, and I'm glad he's right here because he's not bothering me a little bit, not even a little bit. Like I said, I've been all over this whole area, and I'm pretty sure I know where I want to be, and I found it back up towards the front. And uh, so this guy can be back here. Um, and I pretty sure I know which way he'd have to come into here too, which isn't going to affect me with his scent coming in and out either. So, but you run into these kind of things. Like I said, more and more people today are, are getting off the beaten path and learning and he didn't do horrible. And if he's a gun hunter, maybe, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if he'd pan out here or not, maybe, but either way, he's, uh, he's getting closer. Like I said, if he took my course, he'd be, he'd have known to move 100 yards over and be spot on in a deadly area because he's in a good area, just not quite the right spot. But uh, I do love seeing more people that are out here venturing in and getting deeper in and, uh, you know, taking us to the next level. And this guy is doing a pretty dang good job of trying to make that happen. And he's doing it right. Um, you know, he's not... Uh, not wrecking an area, crushing things, destroying it. I mean, he's like I said, I mean, technically you can't leave your stand up, but again, like I said, he's, you know, I, I give this guy props, but that doesn't mean for a second that uh, if I come out here and he's already here, well, he'll never know I'm here. He won't even know I'm here. Cause like I said, I'll be um, way before him. And if I see him walk by, at least now I have an idea of where he's going to. And he's not going to bother me there either. So it's always good to know where these things are when you're finding them. But uh, kudos to him for getting out here deep and especially carrying a ladder stand out here. Uh, like I said, I mean, from the way I came in, I'm over a mile. He might have tried from a different direction. I'm not sure. On the map, it looks to me like uh, the way I came was probably the best. So he he and a buddy or something lugged this thing out here a mile out to get here. So uh, more power to him. All right. We figured it out. And I was right. This is where I want to be. I checked this whole thing. But that tree... That pine tree right there, the point of the saw, is the one I want. And I'll show you why as we walk around here. Now, uh, again, a little bit of just a couple, there's some holes, but a couple little things, but easy for me to just kind of whack with my saw and, and knock some like that dead stick down and get rid of that. Um, so that's clear there, but real quick and easy. Um, but that's that right there, which lets me shoot all these real heavy trails that are here on this water side. This will be water out here, um, but this will hit this thick side here. But then as we walk around there, so it gives me shooting to this side out here, which is where it's pretty good. Um, out here, do I have any? No, that pine's kind of blocking that there, but um, maybe, yeah, no, it depends on how high up I go in there. But like I said, I do know I have a window right there, which is right at that intersection where they cut in and cut over. So right there I know is a good shot behind me. Um, so that gives, does give me one shot. Now, when I walk around this, the other side's where I'm mainly expecting the traffic to be at, what I'm looking for. So I gotta find my way um, around here. Hold on. Pop through this. I wanna get on the other side of this. Oh, my saw's opening up on me. There we go. So now when we come around here and we work through, so here's that thick section of pines. We were just over there on that corner, over in there, where we found that. But you see all the sign in here. And look from that tree, which is right there on the end, that end one right there. I have complete shooting out here. So I can shoot all this. If I put that stand right above that branch, I got complete shooting to all of this stuff out here. So that's gonna be a gold mine. If we go, let's go around this way. <coughs> Then when I come through here, so anything that wants to get to here has to pass by me. And that tree, which is right there, gives me total good shooting. Everything in there is easy to shoot. We got good trails out here. We got them coming through. They're going to hug this tight edge. And you can see I have fantastic shooting here all over. If they're on the inside of this right here, that's it right there. I got great shooting from out here. Out here at about the... 25 yard mark here 20 25 yards i got great shooting right through here to that tree as well too so that's pretty perfect as i keep circling and i come over here <coughs> got great shooting to that tree again and i'd expect them to be right here on this major trail hugging this but shooting to that tree even out here 
they come through here that wide open shooting to that tree there all the way well, this is farther than I would ever shoot but I could shoot from here to there and I have it even over to here right through there I could lean and wiggle my way and shoot them here too so that tree gives me almost 300 degree shooting capabilities out of there and i don't have to mess with nothing quick easy setup done game over so there it is all set so uh that's what we came up with that's what we're gonna do and um i'm just gonna walk over to that tree mark it on my gps so it's all set and then we are rolling out of here and we got a spot pick so that's all there is to it sweet and simple